Hello everyone. Welcome to this short tutorial from Pathology Med Simple Tailor Pathology. If you're listening to this for the first time, don't forget to subscribe this channel because I'll be coming out with many short tutorials on pathology related topics. The topic which I have selected for today is an interesting topic that is autophagy. Now we will be, you know, talking about its definition, the mechanism and steps involved in autophagy, the various benefits of autophagy and then understand the applied aspects of knowing autophagy. What is autophagy? Autophagy means it's a process in which a cell eats its own content. it's derived from the greek word auto means self and phagy meaning eating the cell eats its own self okay basically this is a survival mechanism as in the case of nutrient deprivation where the cell eats and digests its own content now let us see some historical aspects of autophagy the firstly this concept you know emerged during 1960s till recently the mechanism of autophagy was not at all known it was just observed that the cell used to eat its own self but then the mechanism as to how autophagy happens was not known until in the year 1990s where this japanese cell biologist yoshinori oshumi you know he found out he sort of demonstrated the mechanisms of autophagy in yeast and then went on to demonstrate the similar mechanism even in human for the same reason in 2016 the nobel prize in physiology and medicine was given to yoshinori oshumi for demonstrating the mechanisms of autophagy autophagy can be seen in both physiological as well as pathological conditions physiological as in the case of aging and during exercise you can you can encounter autophagy whereas there are lots of diseases and cancers associated with dysregulated autophagy we will look into various pathological aspects a bit later now what happens whenever there is a cellular stress whenever there is a cellular stress this sort of activates autophagy pathway now what is this autophagy pathway you just remember that there are few important things at this point of time one the formation of phagophore what is a phagophore a phagophore is just a isolation membrane so remember all of these things of autophagy is happening within the cell right so this membrane is derived either from the endoplasmic reticulum predominantly from the endoplasmic reticulum or the membrane can be derived from the plasma membrane or the mitochondrial membrane we will talk about the mechanism in detail a bit later right as of now remember that there is a phagophore formation and that is a phagophore okay it is just a cup shaped membrane that's all now this phagophore later gets converted to a autophagosome autophagosome is a vesicle and like this is a membrane right this is a vesicle which contain the intracellular organelles now this autophagosome later gets converted or fuses with lysosome to form autophagolysosome so the lysosome comes and fuses with the autophagosome and then forms an autophagolysosome and finally there is degradation the fusion happens and then there is degradation of the intra autophagosomal content and that's how the cell digests its own intracellular content now let us understand the mechanism in a bit more detail the most important thing we need to understand the most important thing the japanese cell biologist demonstrated was autophagy related genes you know he said he identified that there are genes which are involved in autophagy and he called them as atgs these are autophagy related genes they are the major players in autophagy which encode for set of proteins called autophagy proteins or atg proteins and these autophagy proteins are the ones which are needed for the formation of autophagosome so how these are involved in formation of autophagosome let us understand whenever there is a nutrient deprivation or depletion of growth factors you know that activates a set of proteins and this set of proteins is called ulk1 complex so there are these are set of four proteins proteins which which includes ulk1 atg101 atg means autophagy genes which is encoded the protein atg101 atg101 atg13 fip200 let us not bother about understanding these things just note that this is a complex which is called ulk1 complex this is also called initiation complex because this complex initiates the process of autophagy what does that do that sort of takes some membrane and then it forms a pre autophagosomal structure 
okay this is before the formation of a phagophore so this is a pre autophagosomal structure now the next step is nucleation what happens here is that this ulk1 complex activates another complex called pi3k complex okay so this activation results in nucleation and then the formation of phagophore so the phagophore is basically a, a cup shaped a membrane that's all it's a membranous structure which is cup shaped phagophore now the next step is this phagophore has to elongate and then it has to fuse to form an autophagosome right so how does that happen that process is called elongation and maturation for that you need another set of proteins and these are ubiquitin like conjugation systems these are again don't bother about the types of proteins these are just a set of ubiquitin like conjugation system what does what does this system do this actually converts you know it sort of covalently links the lipid in phosphatidyl ethanolamine to the microtubule associated protein light chain 3 or in simple it's called lc3 so this reaction this combination results in elongation of phagophore and then fusion to form a autophagosome so during the process of formation of autophagosome the contents nearby contents you know the intracellular contents they get trapped in the autophagosome okay now this is not an accidental trap i have just shown you mitochondria this is not an accidental trap this is a selective process we call it as a loading of cargo is a selective process it can be only mitochondria it can be the nuclear material it can be any other material or a combination of material so the whole process is very selective let us not get into the details of that just remember that this process is a selective process so this is a formation of autophagosome and now once autophagosome is formed there is a lysosome nearby remember all these things are happening within the cell right so the lysosome comes near the autophagosome and then fuses to form a autophagolysosome so this is a autophagosome and the lysosome fusion with its contents and then the lysosomal contents are delivered into the autophagosome and then there is degradation so that's how degradation occurs in a autophagolysosome right this is the mechanism of autophagy sort of simplified remember this is not that simplified mechanism so just try to make it simple uh, for your understanding okay now autophagy the benefits of autophagy is so it it it's a survival mechanism under stressful condition you know it basically maintains the integrity of cells by recycling essential metabolites and it also clears intracellular debris now where does intracellular debris occur when when does these occur these occur during aging it can be because of stress because of disease states there will be accumulation of intracellular aggregates so this accumulation has to be you know cleared right so that is where autophagy plays a major role so whenever such a cell is unable to cope the stress which is already in autophagy then autophagy itself you know it triggers the cell death the mechanism how autophagy trigger cell death is actually not known as of now what is the role of autophagy i mean what happens if the autophagy is dysregulated let us see the role of autophagy in cancer it has a dual role it promotes as well as acts as defense mechanisms for cancer it also prevents it also promotes so that's a dual role in cancer second one it is an important role in infection where for example mycobacterial infection the shigella hsv one herpes simplex virus one where the degradation of these bacilli takes place so it definitely has a protective role during infections right in certain conditions like neurodegenerative diseases particularly alzheimer disease there is dysregulation of autophagy where there is acceleration of neurodegeneration so that's one of the mechanism of alzheimer disease and lastly inflammatory bowel disease like ulcerative colitis and crohn's disease where there is single nucleotide polymorphisms in autophagy related genes particularly atg 16l1 remember this entity is a defect involving autophagy related genes this is one of the many mechanisms for development of inflammatory bowel disease these are various disease conditions associated with this regulation of autophagy right so now we understood what is the definition of autophagy right we understood in detail about the mechanism or steps in autophagy 
we did realize the benefits and then looked into various applied aspects of autophagy thank you for watching do comment if you have any queries to ask don't forget to subscribe as i already told you and do share if you find this video useful i'll be coming out with many more such short videos thank you